We have team coverage on this horrific story. Really, two families here torn apart. The man accused uh, the man accused of causing this crash that killed Trinity faced a judge and her family this afternoon in bond court. We're talking about 27 year old Carter Owen. I'm walking in a fog. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to feel. All this feels like a dream to me right now. That was Trinity's mom there, very emotional while inside that courtroom, asking the judge not to let him out. And she spoke directly to that suspect as well. And Fox Carolina's Kayla Conboy is live from outside the Greenville County Detention Center. So Kayla, did Owen show any remorse there in that courtroom? He did. He was very emotional, sobbing to, in the courtroom, uh, saying he wishes he could take it all back. But the judge quickly denied him bond at the family's request. So he's still sitting behind bars tonight. From now on, this is how Trinity Harrison will be remembered in her blue prom dress. These pictures showing some of the final hours of her life. We teach our children to do the right things. And my baby was doing the right thing. She was trying to enjoy her senior prom. She's only 18. She was planning to go to college. She just finished her senior project. She hadn't even learned how to drive yet. The words trembling out of Trinity's mom, Tanya Hurley's mouth, as she looked straight through the glass at Carter Owen, telling him about the full life he cut short. You do not understand the rage. You do not understand the hurt, the pain that you have put us in, all because of a dumb decision. I am a child of God and I will forgive you. But my heart right now is not going to let me do that. Not today. Tanya, surrounded by family, told him about the impact Trinity had on the Wareshoals community, her classmates, even total strangers. I know everything that I'm seeing is not going to bring her back. But I, I, I'm walking in a fog. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to feel. All this feels like a dream to me right now. Me even standing here talking to you, this does not seem real. Trying to stay strong for Trinity, the family's begging for justice and started by asking the judge to deny bond. His family still has him. They may have to look at him through bars, but they can see him. We can't see her anymore. The judge then turned to Owen, who had been sobbing, listening to Tanya's words. He had one chance to address her one chance to apologize. If I could, I would take it back and I would trade my life for hers and I'll repeat. I'm not going to be able to live with myself after today or after last Saturday. I'm not. I apologize if there's anything I can take off with. But the remorse won't bring her back and Trinity's family says they'll have to go on with only memories. We're all in shock. We're all hurt. We're just shattered. Owen was injured along with the other driver on Saturday. He was recovering uh, in the hospital until he re was released to deputy custody yesterday. You could see there in that video his his arm was pretty bandaged up, pretty banged up. And so he was recovering like we just mentioned. He did appear to have two family members that were in the courtroom today, but both remained silent. Reporting live in Greenville County, Kayla Conboy, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news. Kayla, thanks so much.